Hey, this is Saflevari from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And this time it's Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Now, many of you have sent in this request and asked for this lesson, so here it is. But it's going to be challenging because you can find a tab for this anywhere online. So I'm not going to write out a full tab for you. I'm going to make you use your ears and understand what you're playing, why the chords look like they do. I'm going to explain to you the logic behind the chords because, um, for example, okay, this is E over G sharp, okay? And you can also call it E. Now, why is this E? And why is this D? Or D over F sharp, or this chord, this movement. What is it? Now, there's a jazz logic behind the chords. It's minimalist, and the chords actually outline the melody they're playing. So, I'm going to explain exactly what you're playing and um, of course there's gonna be a tab down here but not a full tab because I want you to use your ears okay I want you to know what you're playing and to intend on playing what you're playing and not just playing like a robot if you want a specific tab then um, you can find it actually anywhere online I'm going to explain what Tears in Heaven is all about. Let's begin. Well, there's an intro, there's the verse, there's the chorus, and there's the C part. We're gonna go over each one of them. So, the intro goes like this. Okay, and then the verse begins. What's going on in the intro? You begin with this. Okay? Simple hammer on and um, to a different string. Okay? E, F sharp, A. Okay, now the F sharp is really smart because it's, um, it's a mo there's A over F sharp later, so it actually it's like a premonition. So now you want to bar the second uh, fret for the A chord because you need this. Okay? Hammering on the sus4 note instead of with the pinky, which you can do, but it's less comfortable than just using a stronger finger. And then comes this chord. Okay, now you can do it like this, but I like to use my thumb. Okay? Um, so I think Eric Clapton also uses the thumb. It's easier this way and you can move basses around more easily. So, what is this? This is E over G sharp. Why is it E? Because this is D. Take it two uh, steps up, it's E. And this is G sharp. So we take this and move it to the bass note. Okay? Two octaves down. And then this is an inversion of E. To make it more melodic, um, instead of just going A to E, then the bass plays its own melody. A G sharp, F sharp, okay? The basses got their own melodic thing going. So, E over G sharp. Or you can just call it an inversion of E. It's an E chord, okay? Just without the E at the top. Okay, now the picking pattern here is pretty simple throughout the song. It's... Okay? Bass... Bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, chord. Okay, it's not difficult. Now you can play with it. You can also... You can change it around and mess around with it. But it's pretty simple. You don't have to. So... 
then A over F sharp. Okay? It's just these two fingers, you use them for the E chord, use them for the A chord. Remember, minimalism, correct fingerings, uh, mean smoother movement between the chords, between the changes. So, okay, A over F sharp. Then it's A over E. Okay, so um, technically it's uh, just a bass change. Okay, so E, A over F sharp. Then A over E. Okay, just the open E. Then D over F sharp, which is the same as E over G sharp, only at the second fret. This is also an inversion of D. Instead of the high F sharp, you've got the low F sharp. So, and then D over E. E7. You take the second fret here, move it to the first fret, and you've got E7. So, you start noticing the movement here. Each time, just one note moves around. That's the jazz approach. You move one note around in the chord, and you've got a whole new harmony, a whole new chord. So, um, let's go back to A over F sharp, A over E, D over F sharp, or D, D over E, E7, A. And then you begin the chord, the verse. Okay, that was the intro. The verse is almost the same. with this okay this is written out in the tab and I'm going to explain it in a moment let's play the verse What's going on here? <clears throat> you begin the same as the intro. And that's it on the A. Okay, E, A, bass. And then just five and five, slide to seven, back to five. Then you take the third finger off, leave the second finger on, and add the first finger on the G string on four, and do the same move. Okay? And then you take the second finger off, leave the first, slide from four to six on the G string, and pick an open E string. And the open E string enables you to go back to D over F sharp. Okay, and this time it's simple. D over F sharp, A, E. Okay, or you can do um, D over F sharp, A over E. And then, really simple, it's just like the A chord, and then just 3 and 4. It's 2 and 2 on the 2nd and 3rd strings, and then 3 and 4, okay? So, okay, D, A, E. And then again, mm -hmm. 
now the chorus. The chorus is truly a jazz chord progression. Um, use these fingers or these fingers with the thumb. Two, two, and two. It's F sharp minor. So you will understand why you need these fingers in a second. So I must be strong. Okay? So F sharp minor. Then you leave the um, the D flat note on the second string, second fret. And you take everything else back one fret to one. Okay? This is D flat over F, or an inversion of D flat. It's the same, the same chord. You're beginning to notice the pattern here? So, F sharp. D flat over F. Then you leave this finger on again and you take the rest off. So you've got zero and zero. You've had two and two, you've had one and one, now you've got zero and zero. It's E minor six, I think. Okay? So. Now, it's just F sharp seven. Okay, it's again um, two, two, and three. Only this time it's not on the second and third strings, but one string up. It's on the bass and then on the D and G strings. So, and then you take this chord, this entire chord, F sharp seven, down one string, and it's B minor seven. Then E, and you're done with the chorus. Okay, so again. Okay, got it? Again, slowly. F sharp minor, D flat, E minor six. It's jazzy, so jazzy, and yet so approachable. It's it, it, it ain't got any weird harmonies. So any of you who was afraid of jazz chords, not so scary after all, right? It's even fun. So um, F sharp seven, B minor seven, E. This, by the way is the dreaded 2-5-1 move. We're not gonna linger on that. I'm not gonna explain it right here, but if you've ever heard of 2-5-1, this is it. <coughs> now. Oh, the bridge, the C part, right. Um, this takes a turn out of the jazz world into the folk uh, rock usual acoustic rock um, chords world. C, G over B, A minor. Then the D inversion again, D over F sharp, G. G over F sharp, E. No, E minor, sorry. Okay, so C, G over B, A minor, D over F sharp, G, G over F sharp, A minor. Okay, and then A minor and G over B again. And then again, C, G over B. G, F sharp, A minor. 
Okay, A minor, G over B, C. Okay, and um, again, as long as you accentuate the correct notes in the chord, it doesn't matter which uh, rhythm pattern you choose to play it in. As long as you play the bass and the um, important notes, which are C and E, G over B, which is just the B and the D over here, and then A minor, just the A bass and the C, uh, then the D, okay? It doesn't matter which pattern you pick. Second time around, it's just G and E at the end, okay? Okay, G, E. And you're done. This is Tears in Heaven. Now, I hope I got through to you and I hope I explained it well. I hope you got it. If not, Go back to the beginning, watch this again. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. And before you go, before you go practice this and get it under your fingers, subscribe to my channel and keep updated with all the new lessons. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, so why not? Just click subscribe, keep updated. You can send me requests, you can send me your videos, the videos of yourself playing this, playing what I teach you. There are plenty of lessons already in the, lesson, in the channel. And I'm going to make plenty more. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. Um, so uh, just keep updated and uh, share these lessons. Please share them. They're free. They will always be free. And all I ask in return is to please share them. Just share these lessons and let other people know that I'm out there, that lickandref.com is out there, that the channel is out there, that the website is out there, that this specific lesson is out there. Um, just help me spread the word that there's a free guitar teaching website online that actually teaches guitar and not just um, gives you a primer and asks you to buy something. Okay, if I ever ask you to buy something, believe me, the, this lesson and everything else will remain free and whatever I ask money for, trust me, it will be worth it if I ever do. So, um, I'll stop talking now. I'm going to let you go practice this, get it under your fingers, have fun with this one. It's an amazing song and um, not every guitar player can take jazz chords and um, make a hit, okay, and make a great, great song. And um, you're going to enjoy playing this. Thanks for watching.